Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town & Country Real Estate. Thank you for checking out our market update for the month of May 2016. You know, like I like to do every month, I'm going to go ahead and bring in last month's sales report for the Shasta County Multiple Listing Service. Now, what's great about this report is it breaks down the homes that went under contract by price range. Now, down at the bottom, I'm going to circle for this in red for you, there were 372 homes that went into contract last month. Now, if you go back just 12 months ago in the very same month, there was 266 homes that went under contract. So sales volume is up by 39% here in Shasta County, which is obviously a good sign for our local market. The next thing I wanted to talk about briefly is that there has been some discussion about whether or not there is a housing bubble that's forming, not just here locally, but throughout the country. And one thing I like to talk about is just the availability of credit for the buyer. One of the reasons why our market really had a major correction back in 2006 is because financing was at its highest point of availability at, at, compared to any other time in history. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a slide for you now. And what this slide is called is the Mortgage Credit Availability Index. Now, down at the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see that all the way back in 2004, you can see that the availability of credit started to climb rapidly. In fact, by 2006, we were at our absolute highest point in history. And, and nobody has to tell us that you know, what happened after that was the market corrected rapidly and they started to tighten up the lending guidelines as fast as possible until the point where they were much tighter than they were even back in 2004. So then if you watch the screen as it goes off to the right, you can see that by comparison, lending guidelines are still at some of the tightest points they've been in history. And we have a long ways to go before the lending guidelines even begin to loosen up to be anything close to what it was back in 2004. And so for this reason, this is the reason why I don't feel we're dealing with a major housing bubble at the moment. Now there's no doubt that interest rates are playing into the, the availability for purchasing. And it's certainly having an impact on valuations, but we're not dealing with those bad lending practices that we had seen in years past. The, the next thing I wanted to talk about briefly is just what's happening with the rental market itself. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a slide for you now. This slide describes what the median asking rent has been since 1988. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but out the far left-hand side of our screen, all the way back in 1988, you can see how low rents actually were. And since then, they've continued to trend upward in a pretty fast fashion, all the way up to where we are now in the beginning of 2016. Now, here's the reason why I'm bringing this up. California just passed a minimum wage law, which means they're gonna be increasing the minimum wage over the next five years. Now, because of that, we already know that rents are going to likely increase as inflation takes place in the market. Now, follow me with this thought. If you can secure an asset on a 30-year fixed mortgage, essentially what you're doing is you're hedging your home against the possibility of renting or owning a home inflation going forward. So there's a lot of money that could be saved just by purchasing in today's market. So in any case, if there's any other questions that I can help you with regarding the real estate market here in Shasta County, or if you have questions about what it would take to get your home sold for the highest price, feel free to give us a call at the office. We're always here to help. Make it a great day.